Julie, have these activists, have they made any headway in slowing down the growth of these seeds? They, they haven't. And in fact, we've seen some setbacks. We should mention that is mostly true in the United States. In Europe, we haven't seen genetically modified seeds have the same kind of growth because they haven't gotten approved. So the growth has been in the U.S. The growth has been elsewhere around the globe. Um, but that hasn't stopped consumer groups from really attacking these types of genetically modified organisms, as they're called. That's when you take a gene from another type of organism, entirely, say, a bacteria, and you put it into corn genes and you grow a new type of corn, for example. The Center for Food Safety, which is a D.C.-based group, uh, calls genetic engineering of plants and animals, quote, one of the greatest and most intractable <coughs> environmental challenges of the 21st century. And yet efforts that that group and others have made to restrict the growth of this has re have really failed. For example, last year uh, there was a proposition up for vote in California, a referendum to require labeling of genetically modified foods and that was defeated. You have had uh, some individual corporations, Whole Foods for example, say that it's going to be phasing in genetically modified labeling over the next several years, but you haven't seen anything on the legislative front. front. And importantly, uh, there's a battle right now going in Washington where uh, there was a, a measure as part of the spending bill that said it, even if uh, the safety of some of these gene genetically modified seeds is in question, if they're in the ground already, the farmers can go ahead and keep growing them, Betty. Julie, though, given all of that, how did Monsanto actually do this quarter? Record earnings. So Monsanto is obviously shrugging off uh, these concerns that are going on. Uh, the company coming out with earnings and revenue that beat analyst estimates raised its forecast for the full year. And at the end of the day, as I talk to various analysts, they say farmers keep buying this stuff. Uh, all of this publicity hasn't stopped that from happening. And the bottom line is the farmers want to maximize their yields. So they want to put seeds in the ground that are going to produce the most corn. And remember, this year, uh, farmers are expected to plant the most corn since 1936. About 97 million acres of corn expected to be planted this year. Wow. And uh, it looks like a lot of that could be Monsanto corn.